All right. Good morning and to those of you who are joining from um, the Europe or the United States, good evening to you. Um, thank you very much for being here with us today. So we'll just give everyone else a few more minutes, but before that, I'll just do a bit of an introduction for those of you who are new to Holistics about what we're about before we go into the actual session today on our uh, agenda as well as the topic of automated data reporting. So I guess just to give you a brief introduction about Holistics, uh, my name is Evan, I'm a growth hacker at Holistics Software and I've got my colleague with me here today, Jatin. Hey guys, yeah. good hey, to have you all on board. Yeah, so just to give you guys a brief uh, run through of how the session will be running, uh, we'll have the Q&A session at the end of the presentation, so feel free to drop your questions and I'll be helping to moderate to pass these questions on to Jatin for him to take. And so now just to give you a brief introduction about Holistics. So we're actually a data platform, a business intelligence platform that also does both data preparation and data reporting. And we work a lot with many tech startups around the region in Southeast Asia, as well as around the world in Europe and the United States and beyond, with more than 80 customers in over 16 countries. And this is an example from one of our customers that shows how Holistics is part of their data stack. So this is actually something um, that we're very proud of, that we're actually part of the mission critical data operations of companies from small to large and to help them actually build up a powerful data-driven culture in their business. So we have more than 15 team members in places such as Singapore, Vietnam, Indonesia, and even in the United States and San Francisco. And we have uh, no external investments. We are a profitable company. <laughs> And there's just some slides of um, our recent activities in the press. So we actually have our CTO who was uh, nominated as, and uh, actually selected as Forbes 30 under 30 for Asia for enterprise technology, as well as a few other articles that you can see here. So without further ado, I think we've got quite a few participants joining in now. So we're going to be ready to start on the main topic of the day. All right, so as you all know, thank you for joining us today. Our topic is going to be about automating data reporting in your company. So be it a large company or a small company, we're able to provide you with the tools to do a self-service business intelligence and data platform experience. And so the agenda for today, we're going to have our uh, panelists, Jatin, a member of our Jakarta team down in Indonesia at Block 71 Jakarta for Holistics, who will be doing a quick sharing on the latest happenings in our company and the latest releases. And he'll also be sharing the examples of how you can actually automate data reporting using Holistics. So from the examples of sending uh, automated email reports or Slack reports using Holistics, all the way through to emailing reports out to separate customers and automating the extraction of data from your database and into reports via email or Slack, for example. And then followed by that, we'll have 10 minutes of Q&A. So feel free to shoot your questions to us over at any time, whenever you'd like. And if it fits into the flow of the presentation, I'll shoot them over to, the, to Jatin. And if not, we'll take those at the end of the session. So um, we'll be doing these webinars on a monthly basis. So if you have any topics that you're interested to find out more about, please let us know at hello at holistics.io or just reach out to us over on our main website or through our platform. So without further ado, I'll hand it over to our session host for today, uh, Jatin. Hey, thank, thank you so much, Evan. Uh, hey guys, it's great to be talking to you and thank you all for coming on board. So just give me a few seconds. Let me share my uh, screen with you, with all of you. Uh, yep, I think it's already sharing actually. Um, is it sharing? No, I think you get to try sharing it again from the middle. Okay, so let me try it again. Okay, here we go. I think it's sharing now. Okay, um, great, great to have all of you here. And it's uh, my first time, my first webinar. So I'm really, really excited to be talking to all of the teams and uh, all, all people are really, really interested in, in politics and our different features. So like, um, like Evan mentioned, let me start off by giving you all an update of, of our, our release features. So our engineering team works really, really hard um, on giving out new features every month. And this is a, one of our uh, latest features that has been released. So our, our latest feature has been, uh, is called Shareable Links Manager. What this does is, with our new shareable link manager feature, it allows everyone with the link to access the report or dashboard. You can now share reports with your user groups, such as your team in Singapore, for example, or even publicly to your investors. 
the also really important thing about uh, this feature is that you can always manage and edit oh, these public links. So you can, you can choose who to send it to or you can keep editing and changing depending on your needs. So, uh, you know, the great thing about our engineering team is that they're really, re we are really quick and they're really quick with coming out new features. So by the end of the day, by the end of the day, we'll be releasing two new features called Google Analytics Import and new metric visualization, which supports filters and styles. And uh, we'll also be releasing two, two more new features uh, called data modeling and exporting uh, from Report Explorer and also our release schedule by the end of August. So stay tuned guys uh, to our latest new updates and these topics will be discussed later in our webinar sessions in the future. Yeah, these are features that have been very much a um, popular demand of our customers, hasn't it, Prashin? Yes, exactly. So with based on your needs and on, on your features that, that's really important for you, our engineering team is, is able to know which features to be added into, into our Holistics platform. So uh, for a lot of you who are not aware of what Holistics or what our service provide, let me give you a brief introduction of what exactly we do. So Holistics is a new kind of business intelligence software that helps data teams streamline the data visualization process from the initial data preparation all the way to data visualization. We support existing data infrastructure and help a lot of the manual process that teams go through to create reports and dashboards. So with our platform, we help integrate different communication platform to deliver data to your stakeholders. That's uh, for Holistics using channels such as Slack, email schedules, and even shareable links, which can be shared amongst your external team or internal employees. And also, you can even uh, share it publicly, for example, to your investors. Okay, so let's start with the first example. So um, I just wanna ask um, Evan a question. So, you know, being in Holistics for, for a really long period of time, do you think um, how has you know shareable uh, you know shareable links or email schedule been important to our previous existing clients? Oh, absolutely! I think those are some of our um, favorite features that a lot of our customers use, yeah. um, especially customers who have to keep their team up to date, maybe on a daily basis when they want to have team meetings to figure out perhaps mm -hmm. from their sales teams, their marketing teams, their operations teams, all these, uh, say, email schedules where they can receive in their inbox without having to go into the platform, yeah. or for example, having the report appear in Slack so that they can actually have the discussion right there in the same place. These are definitely some of the popular things. Yes, exactly. Um, so yeah, let me, let me begin, let me start. So if you guys wanna have uh, any questions throughout this, throughout the entire, uh, throughout the three examples that I'll be sharing, do shoot it down and I'll be happy to answer all of your questions by the end of the session. Um, so yeah, so before we start, let's start with, with, a, with a use case that, that could be really, really important for maybe a lot of you, maybe a lot of you might be familiar with these um, you know, use cases or scenarios. So let's say your management is based overseas and would like a daily performance report in their inbox and your sales team that is spread across the region needs a sales performance chart for their daily stand-up call over Slack. So how, how to do this? So this is also a really, really important feature for Holistics considering like Evan mentioned, our team is based all across the world. So we have a team in Singapore, in Vietnam, in, in, in San Francisco, in the Bay Area. So we, we constantly depend on these channels to share information, to share reports, to, to, to share our progress reports. And these, these are some of the channels that are really, really important to us. So let's begin on how to email schedule. So email scheduling takes just four steps. It's really, really simple. So what you have to finish, uh, firstly do is choose the certain report or dashboard that you, that you want to select to, to be scheduled through email. Once you've clicked the email schedule button, you follow the instruction. You can add different information like recipients, your schedule, when you, you, when you want to schedule the email, your time, the day, the filter value, the subject, the email subject, the email body, or even attachments. This attachment could be in the form of an Excel file, for example, or in the form of a TXT file. Finally, next, sorry, next what you do is you validate it. So you can either send it immediately or you can, uh, you can schedule a bunch of emails and send it in, in one click altogether. So this could, be, this could be a really important feature if you have a lot of email scheduling to do. Next, and finally, what the final step could be, you check the result. If the email has gone through, 
and uh, if the email has been gone through and if that's exactly what you that's the right email or the right report that that you uh, want to be sending to your recipients so let me give you I'll, I'll show you a demo on how you do it in our, in our platform but uh, I, this is an example of a current um, report that has been sent uh, into that has been sent from using our email schedule feature so let's get into the demo on how exactly we can do this okay so for example I will ha I have um, a report that I want to send. Hmm, just so maybe you want to move the uh, browser up a little bit so we can have a bigger screen to see how it works. Okay, sorry, my bad. Uh, sure. Yep. Awesome. Oh. Yeah. So let's say I have a report, for example. Let's go with uh, a demo embedded. Let's go with uh, Active House users variables. Yeah. Right, and maybe you could. Um, switch up the little pop up on the bottom right corner that has my face on it. Oh, sorry, which one? Yeah, so does that one just close that at the top right? Of okay. That one. <laughs> See, Evan's always here to help you guys. <laughs> there we go. All right, there awesome. Go. Oh, back All to right. you. Uh, okay, so thanks, Evan. So, yeah, for example, this is the report that I would want to be sending to my holistics, uh, to my holistics team. Uh, so really, really simple steps. So for example, this is the email that I chose. All I have to do is uh, go to the schedule button, click on the new email schedule. Here we go. So I could add a recipient. Let's say I want to do it. Uh, you know, let's give you an example. Let's go to holistics and elastics at IO. Uh, let's share this um, weekly. Let's say right after work, every Friday. So before going into the weekend, um, so you don't have to, you know, manually do it all the time. So before going to the weekend, let's say it's 7 p.m. And uh, I, it's fine. I don't need to write in a lot of email or uh, body or subject. So let me just sum this. Yep. Okay. So this is this is the validation process. So you can schedule m more new emails or just, you know, let's say just send this email. Uh, this the new email would require you to do the same exact same process. So let's right. see. Let me... So you can actually either wait for it to run on the schedule. Yeah. Whenever you set it, or you can just trigger it to send immediately. Isn't that right? Yeah, you can execute it immediately, or just wait till Friday at seven p.m. <laughs> so let's just try and give you guys an example and send this and shoot this immediately right now. Okay. It has been successfully queued for execution, and uh, yep, yeah, it's. Green tick mark is up. Okay, so here is an example of the report that is uh, okay. Let me show you. Oh, wait. Okay. Um, okay. This is for, this is another example of 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 report that I have just scheduled uh, into the holistic system. Yeah, so it's really easy process, just a few simple steps, and uh, you will be receiving the report into in your mailbox in just a few minutes. Okay, so let's move on to how uh, Slack could be scheduled. Um, the, the scheduling with Slack is actually the same exact same process. However, there will be an extra step that uh, is really important to do. So one thing you have to do before in, um, integrating Slack into the whole system is you enable the the holistic Slack integration. So this is a really simple process. You know how you integrate email to your Facebook account. This is the same exact way you can do it. Just integrate uh, holistics into your Slack reports. Next, you go, you follow the same feature. You go to schedule reports, whichever report you want to schedule. You follow the same instruction, which channel do you want to uh, show is share it to you schedule the date and the time. You write the title to the, the person you want to send it. You write a certain message. You do the filter values. And uh, once you've done writing all the required information, you click on send, you check the result into your Slack. And this is an example of how it will be posted in your Slack, um, into your Slack channel. So let's give this another try. Let's give this another shoot. Okay, so let's click on the same report that I want to send. Uh, instead of clicking new email schedule, let's click on new Slack schedule. Let me click on, um, uh, let's click on select test. For example, that's the channel that I want to send it to. Use the same and uh, click Summit. It's done. It's, it has already been added. And 
Let's click send. Yep. So successfully. And let's go to our Slack channel. Oh, here we go. Yep. In just a matter of seconds, actually, it has already been received into um, my Slack channel. Mm, so, very cool. Yeah. Yeah, really, really simple as well. Really, just a few seconds. It just took took us a few seconds to get it to your uh, Slack channel. Okay, so yep. Um, let's move on to the second example. So, um, so guys, if anyone have a certain amount of questions that you guys want to ask uh, from the previous section, do shoot it out now. It's a great opportunity to, uh, you know, send it, send your questions now. If you, if you, if you have missed a certain, uh, if you want me to explain it or over again by the end of the session, do shoot our email. Okay, let's move on to example two, guys. So in example two, I'll be talking about email reports for each separate customer. And um, in, the, in this sense, we have a, a two different background. So uh, two different uh, parts. For example, the first, the first part will be our new feature, which is password protection. And uh, the second feature is uh, account accessibility. To learn more about data, data protection, do check our previous webinar. I think, um, I've, I think our first or second, our first webinar uh, really discusses about data protection. And it's really, really important for you guys to, ch to have a look or, or to go through um, the, the, the documents that we share in, 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 the, uh, in the webinar session. So, so let's again start with the, with the use case. As we think with the use case, it could be something really similar to um, your to a scenario that, that you are really familiar with. So let's say you run a marketing agency with reports for, for different customers and you need to make sure it is delivered on time every Monday. So how do you do this is, uh, sorry, how do you do this is really, really simple. So let's say I have a report. Let's go to uh, our dashboard. Let's go to, uh, this is, this enables our filter features. So I have uh, a few customers in, that are, that are in, in, in my dashboard. So I have uh, my amazing customer, my grasp, my paying on quick push and tracker. And how you check this is, so you go to the customers, you check the filter customers. And uh, so let's say I want to go with my amazing customer. You apply the, you apply it, click on apply. Okay, let's give us a few seconds. Yep, okay, that's done. Uh, you click on email schedule. The same exact process guys, uh, really simple. Do it again all over. Uh, put on this re required information. Just click, however, click on the filter values that you want to be sending. So let's click uh, amazing as your filter value. Do the same process of uh, you know writing your recipients, writing your names. Um, do, do, do the required information. You can click on attachments. Just just for you guys to know that you can also enable password protection. So what password protection? they do is uh, what, what our feature with password protection is considering we are really, really aware of how, um, you know, data or your data will be really, really important for you, for your team and uh, for you personally. So we have a, a, a password protection feature, which is, which is, which has been a, a new feature that it added. So you can copy this, send it uh, to a person or send it to a recipient that is required or the person in charge to, to, you know, have a look into the report. So other, so other team members of, of, of your company who are, not, who are not in the same team might not, won't be able to have an access to the certain report that you have, uh, that you have shared. So this password protection has been, is, has been really, really vital for a lot of our customers. So it's, it's, it's been a great feature that uh, it's been, we have, we have uh, heard a great feedback on this feature that has been added. So yeah, copy the password, share it, and it's as simple as that. So um, just give you an example of how uh, the dashboard looks. We'll be going to, okay, sorry. Yeah, yeah. we'll be going to, uh, we'll be going back to this and you'll see this is exactly uh, a, a dashboard for our, our, our customer, amazing. Right, and so yeah. you also mentioned there were attachments in those dashboard, is that right? Uh, yes, you can do that as well. There's attachments and there's dashboards, so you can you can click on a certain report, or you want to click on the whole dashboard. It's it's completely up to you. Uh, yeah, so so um, this actually links to a question we had, Jatin, from uh, one of okay. our 
uh, uh, participants here, Dee, that was asking, can you actually um, send several holistics reports together uh, via email? So it's exactly as Justine just showed, actually adding reports to a dashboard is what will allow you to send all these reports at one shot um, via email, for example. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's great. Thank you, Deed, for your question, and thanks, Evan. So um, you want to know how, uh, you know, for example, let's say how, if I want to add in more new customers, if I want to add in more new customers and change the filters, how do you do that? It's really simple. So with our shared filter uh, technique, so let's click on the customer ID, for example, if you want to add in more customers into your reports that has been uh, added. So what you do is, uh, so we have three configuration, uh, you know, man, we, can, we can do three, three configuration to add a, a new customer into our filter page. So you can either do, if you are really, really familiar with uh, SQL and you're really comfortable with SQL, you can use SQL, for example. You can use a uh, database table, so uh, it'll be automatically integrated into the table using uh, our, our feature, our dynamic filter link feature, or you can even manually, uh, you know, entry it. So if you want to add add a new, uh, add a new, uh, you know, filter, you, all you have to do is click preview, choose the option that you want to, choose the option, choose one of these three options, and um, automatically with our dynamic filter links, it will automatically in integrate all the, the customers that, that has been, uh, that, that has been added into into the dashboards. Yep. So yeah, uh, let's go back. To, let's go and uh, to, mm -hmm. let's go to example three. So um, before moving on to example three, um, Evan, can I ask you a question, Evan? So yeah, sure. Let me know. Uh, so you have been in Hostics for a really long time, uh, for <laughs> for several years now. So do you think, how much do you think this filter feature has been really vital to our, you know, uh, existing clients or, or how much has been, how, how much has the fe uh, feature been requested, for example? Right, ex exactly. So I guess from the example you just showed with the filters, um, sometimes we joke that that's part of the secret sauce of holistics, these filters <laughs> that we can generate using SQL. Yeah. So it's really versatile and it's part of the things that makes us so flexible. Like for example, you could generate a uh, drop-down filter using one data source, like a MySQL database, and then you can actually take those results and push that into another query using yeah. um, a, a report that you fill on your Postgres database. So this yep. sort of combinations, it's really what makes Holistics quite powerful. Mm -hmm. Yep, uh, exactly. So the filter has been really, really used, I believe, right? It has been used a lot now. And uh, yeah. so guys, if you have any, any questions, just write it down below and I'll be really, really happy to answer them uh, by the end of, uh, you know, by the end of my uh, presentation. Mm -hmm. So and let's another thing on. about the filters as well, you're, you're right about pointing that out. It's that mm -hmm. people don't even realize that when they're using filters, that they're actually building a SQL query, even if they don't know SQL at all. Yeah, exactly. So if, you know, a filter could be used by someone who's not really into, into uh, a data analysis, or someone who's not really, you know, aware of what exactly, you know, SQL is all about. So there you go. So uh, even a business user, like Evan mentioned, could, could probably be able to, you know, use uh, filters to justify which report they do want to send it. So yeah, really, really interesting. Okay, uh, thanks Evan for sharing. Let's move on to example three. So uh, in this, let's, let's uh, give it another scenario. So let's give it another shot and see, um, what scenario this is all about. So let's say um, this use case is, by the way, on how to import Google Sheet and scheduling report export to, um, to your email inbox. So let's say the scenario. Uh, so, <coughs> sorry. A scenario is a different department in different countries use the same spreadsheet format to update data. And the process to merge the sheets takes away one day each week. Wow. Automating the import merge and report schedule would be awesome. Okay, wow, it takes one week for do this. Let's see how long this will take with Holistics. Okay, uh, let's go back to our report. Let's go back to our database. Okay, here we go. By the way, I have um, an example report here, which is um, Tencent stock price. So let's say 2016, this, these are the values. 2017, these are the values. 2018, these are the values. So let's say I have an existing a report that I would want to share. Okay, let's say I have an existing report, which is the, the Tencent stock report. Okay, so if you guys notice that these only show the 2016 values, which are the information over here, but I wanna merge into 2017 and 2018 values into the same exact 
um, you know, into the same exact report. So how to do this is, is really simple. So you, you, uh, we have a, a feature called data imports that, uh, that enables to do this. So let's start with it. Okay. So let's click with the new data imports. Let's click on the Google spreadsheet, considering this is the source. Also, just to note guys that we support not only Google spreadsheet, we support different uh, data sources, such as a SQL databases, a pipe drive, Facebook advertisements, MongoDB, and uh, you know Google Drive, Google, anything with anything uh, that is that is you, anything that you have, you can always try to integrate it into the system. So it's really really important to uh, you know for me to note out the different uh, data sources that we uh, add. Yeah, uh, actually, just to jump in here, isn't it true, Jatin, that a lot of uh, business intelligence platforms uh -huh. really only do the dashboards, the charts, the report visualizations? But currently, Holistics is one of the only ones that actually does ETL and data preparation in the same platform because of our strong data that's engineering correct. team. Yes, that's correct. Uh, so that, that's the thing. That's one of the new. That's that's why I mentioned the beginning of just uh, beginning of the you know beginning of the presentation that um, Evan. I said that you know Holistics is a new business intelligence tool that en enables ETL to be you know a, a much um, you know precise and 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 an easier feature. For, for data analysis to be using currently. So, yep, so we are really, really happy and proud of our data engineering team to be working really, really hard and uh, you know, giving a, a really smooth and easy process for, for our, our, our clients that are there. So yeah, let's move on to uh, the stock price report. So let's say I wanna integrate uh, the 2017 uh, report and to the, merge it into the current 2016 report that I just showed you. All I have to do is click on the URL copy paste it, um, enter, put it here, uh, put it in the box here, validate it, do not forget to validate. Okay, let's check it, yep. Mm. Let's wait for a few seconds. Okay. Okay, here we go. So you can see here that it's 2017. So this is the exact report that I want to be merging with. Let's click on the destination. So let's click on uh, the data source, which is the, let's go on with Postgres. Let's enter the schema name. Let's go with upload. And uh, let's go with Tencent underscore price. So um, how you merge it is based on a, a feature we have called append. What this does is it imports or it inserts new record with an existing record, with an existing table that, that has been uh, into the system. So you can always use a uh, full, you can always just want to have a new report of only 2017. But in this case, in this scenario, we want to be merging our 2017 report with our 2016 report. Uh, so let's validate this. Right, so it's because the table structure of the sheet is exactly the same. So appending just adds those new records to the bottom yes. of the existing table in the database, isn't it? Yes, that's that's correct. Um, so yeah, let's schedule this report. Um, let's schedule this report. Anyway, Evan, when do you think we should schedule this report? <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, let's say so it's a report like this. I guess maybe it makes sense for it to be at the end of the workday of a work week. So maybe let's say Friday, six p.m. Maybe. Okay, let's go with uh, what Evan says. Let's go with Friday at 6 p.m. Okay, here we go. Um, it's done. So uh, we can either save this and, or we can immediately execute it. Or one, if you save it and we can execute it by the end of, uh, of Friday at 6 p.m. So uh, it's, we have saved it already. And now uh, we can execute it immediately. It's not been executed here. You can see it. Uh, let's say, let's just execute it now. Okay. Okay. Confirm. Um, let's check the job history. It has been uh, done. Uh, our, our logs. Okay. Um, it seems like it's already been, it's, oh, status is success. So again, guys, um, this, this job logs is really important. If, the, if an email that has not been scheduled, uh, it will be, it will write unsuccessful. Here and it will be um, you will get an email saying why it hasn't been uh, unsuccessful. So it's a it's a really important feature to know if your uh, if your report or if, if you have successfully ETL'd uh, a certain schedule. 
Yeah, actually, just to jump in here with you, Jatine, that this feature actually is really quite significant because with that import, you're actually able to perform a task that used to require code or maybe building mm -hmm. a on-job in the system, such so as something that data engineers do. But now with that UI, like you just showed, you can just yeah. take and import data from different sources with just a few clicks and even has a log system built for you. Yes, exactly, exactly my point. Yep. So it's really, really convenient, I must say. So let's go to and give it a shot and see if it's been reported. Yeah, 2016. Let's click on refresh now. Uh, yep, here we go. We can see the new values right here. Very nice. 2017, yep. So as simple as this, 2017. Oh, wow. A growth in the uh, constant rise in the closing price. So, yeah. <laughs> Uh -huh. So, yeah, so this is an example of how, and if you want to schedule this, you can email this, again, the same process, guys. So you can either use it, you know, Slack it, you can send internally through your Slack, so you can email schedule. So in this scenario, it's an email schedule, the same process, writing the recipients, um, you know, doing the, doing the whole process all over again, writing certain inf information, and, and uh, so, sure, yeah, confirm. So same process, guys. And uh, you'll be receiving, or, or the recipient will be receiving um, this, um, you know, this page right, right in your um, mailbox. Yeah. Yeah, and exactly. That was a question that um, Wei Liang had asked us of whether we can actually help with the automation of reports. So as uh, Justin just showed, actually all it takes is going into a report or a dashboard in Holistics, mm -hmm. clicking on that schedule button, keying in either your email addresses so that you want to receive the reports or your Slack schedule. Yeah. And straight away it gets sent to you, so that whole yep. process gets automated. Exactly. So really, really simple. Okay, guys, I think that comes to the end of the three examples. So let me share you a testimonial of our, of of one of our existing clients that we're really, really happy about. I'll call Shopek. Shopek is an e-commerce website um, in Jakarta, Indonesia, and what they do is uh, so. We are really, really happy to be partnering. We have been really happy to you know, support with our, with our services to them. So when we spoke to them a, a bit further, they said that one of their biggest issue or was that the reports was not real time and that it, ha it was really, really, uh, you know, it was really long for them to uh, you know, query scripts and it was really difficult to manage because and they needed an extra, you know, an extra hand for, for, for help. So with their holistic solution, uh, sorry, with their holistic solution, they 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 mentioned that with just one step, uh, with just one step, the report is now delivered to the right person at the right time, demanding no extra uh, attention. So, with holistics, we we want to you know integrate or we want to you know bridge the gap between a data analysis or the or the work that they they have to do, uh, and it's really really simple. Just like I mentioned with this feature, and our, our shared features that I previously mentioned, that it's. Uh, just a few features here and there. You can always, uh, you know, get all your features done and all your reports done, uh, very, really simply. Yeah, so, I think that's something. Um, when we were chatting with some of our fans at Shopback, they even mentioned right that one of their favorite things about Holistics is that it has absolutely zero learning curve for our business exactly. users. So, yes. so, you know, even some platforms they get intimidated by some drag and drop interfaces, but with Holistics. Mm -hmm. It's as simple as using a mobile phone app. You just click on the, the filters and you just click on the charts and you can explore yeah. it easily. And yeah, that's probably one of the things that they really enjoy. Yeah, and um, I also remember, Evan, uh, I think one of our clients, um, I think what they do is that every Monday, every Monday morning, one of their, their CEOs get, gets a 9 a.m. report scheduled for the for uh, you know a report that's been scheduled 9 a.m every morning every monday morning so so these are the small small features that that's i think you know really really vital uh, if you have if you have a growth comp if you have a company that's constantly growing so you know it, it enables less less work for example and it it reduces the time that an or an effort that uh, the extra human attention that's required yeah, that's so true. It's exactly like what you just showed in example three. So a process like that, that we've, that's automated from the imports of the new data and then the emailing of those reports out, that could have taken people um, a long time, a few days yeah. even to compile a report yeah. like that. And now it's supposed to automatically, especially when your team is spread across the whole region. Um, yes. That's not easy to coordinate, but with this system, you can actually do it all in one place. All in one place, exactly. So it's uh, you know, a really, really systemized process, I would say. Anyway, uh, so thank you guys for 
you know, listening. So if you have any questions, uh, do shoot it out and I'll be really happy to answer all of your questions. Yeah, thanks very much for the presentation, Jatin. So now we've got no to, problem. Uh, yeah, great stuff. Uh, really, really uh, saw how, how straightforward and simple it can be. Um, so yeah, we've got a few questions that our uh, mm -hmm. uh, uh, attendees have posed here. So let's, uh, let's take them one by one over here. Okay. So um, there was a question about, oh, what would happen if, say, an email uh, schedule fails? Um, how would we be notified? Okay. Uh, thanks, Evan. That's a great, great question. Um, so if in that case, in, in whatever unfortunate case that might be, <coughs> even though we, we try and, uh, you know, we hope that, that might not really uh, happen. What you do is, um, so you go th to our settings page and uh, let me move you here. Okay. Let's move on to our settings page. You go and configure it in here. So for example, here we can see that if an email failure recipient list. So for example, if an email failure um, has been had, like have an email of uh, email has been failed to send, what you have to do, all you have to do is click, uh, click on the email address, click on the email address that, that has been uh, failed to send, copy paste it over here um, with your information. And, and then you can check why it hasn't been sent. So for example, it could be maybe in our fault. It could be, um, we, we it hasn't it had to be catch for example or it could probably be that an email that has not been it has not been uh, you know successfully or an email address could be could, could was incorrect for example so if, if in that case is if that case has happened if your email address has been incorrect so you'll get notified on why it, um, what what the problem is and also we will also try to um, schedule it once more if it if it has uh, if it could be successfully sent it again or not if it's not then it's probably the default of you know there's been without the correct email address for example or uh, you know you could always change it um, and then schedule and report all together again so I must say that if it's if it's if it fails so it, it with just a few clicks and you can understand why it hasn't been failed and you can look into and find out why um, you know your answers and to what the problem is exactly yeah, and actually, now that you're on this section as well, Jatin, there's another question from uh, one of our participants of asking, can we actually set the sender of the email reports to be from someone else, uh, another name or another email address instead of from Holistics? And I see it's just right here in the settings page as well, isn't it? Yep, exactly. So, um, so who it could be anyone or you know any person in charge that could send um, or who, who, whoever is, you know, responsible to, to be doing all this data preparation work. So you can, it, you know, you can keep constantly changing it. You can write to sender's email, it could be from any, from the company that you are in, click on the, uh, click on the email, uh, click on your, which email, and then it's as simple as that. So it, it does not have to be a certain amount of people, a certain number of people. It could be anyone that is in charge or, you know, the, the, the role it has been assigned to. Yeah, and I think an interesting thing as well is that um, some of the customers have become quite creative in designing their dashboards. Because yeah. uh, Holistics dashboards, you can even put image files in it because of the yeah. markdown system that we use for the uh -huh. uh, text sections that can actually embed images. Mm -hmm. So they send that from their own email address and it appears with a nice big banner showing the company logo. Company so logo. it's actually quite versatile, mm -hmm. especially when it comes to sending it out to partners yeah. or also external investors. External investors, yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There you go, guys. So these are the these are the some of our features that that we enable with email scheduling. Yes. All right, and we've got another question over here. Okay. Um, I think it's uh, about the filters that you were showing about customer filters. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm asking them whether you could explain a little bit more about um, can customers uh, be you have to insert each new customer manually, or how do you actually get new values um, put into these filters? Okay. So I have, uh, let me, let me discuss this all over again. Maybe I wasn't clear enough. So let's go back to, oh, let's, let's go to, uh, to the same dashboard. So it's easier for you guys to understand. Um, so the filter values can change, uh, depending on what your needs are. So you can have the filter values depending on if you can add more new customers, for example, you can change the date, uh, which date to which date you want to send the report to. And all you have to do is with our shared filter scheduling, uh, you know, with our shared with a shared filters feature. All you have to do is so if if the question was about customers, I think we can click on customers and check if you want to add a new customer. So we have three configuration uh, process that it could be done. 
So it could be done using SQL. Uh, if you're really you know SQL savvy and you want to learn, and it's really uh, you know it's really really simple as well. But if you're pretty pretty familiar with SQL, this could be a very very um, you know easy way for you to do it. You can also do it from uh, the database, so it will automatically uh, be integrated. Uh, or the new customers, if you add in new customers in your reports, it could be uh, automatically uh, inserted. Or you can even uh, manually entry it. So it's really, really simple. And all you have to do is, you just click on the preview section, click on which are, which are the three options that you want to pick, and um, it will automatically, so if you have to do a SQL, you have to do it, uh, you know, write, write a query. Uh, if you do it, Database, which I, which I, which according to me is one of the most convenient ways. Um, so you know, just you know, insert it from your database and uh, click click on the preview and save it. Once yeah, actually, yeah, under there, Jatid, if you show the example of the customer ID and previewing from a database table, so that uh -huh. means it actually grabs all the values straight off the database. So as long as the new customer values are in the database, yeah, it'll exactly. retrieve it from there and also show in the preview, wouldn't it? Yeah. So you can click on one of the one of the three options, and uh, it will manually be manually be in, uh, in, uh, integrated into into the filter section. Or automatically using the uh, database table or the SQL approach. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so yeah, exactly. Like, yep. Awesome stuff. Right. Well, we've got another question over here. Uh, okay. so this one is actually about our data preparation and ETL. Um, so uh, this this participant's asking, uh, does Holistics have tools for ETL? Oh, absolutely. And how many kinds of data sources do we uh, support in Holistics, um, such as like MySQL, Postgres, yeah. and other such data sources? So I think that will be under the data import side of things. Yeah, so you can do that. Or let's show you the different uh, database type that we support. It could be uh, through using MySQL. It could be uh, MongoDB, for example. It could be Facebook advertisements. So I think let me show you through the data import side. Uh, Let me show you again. Uh, here we go. So yeah, it could be through Google Spreadsheet, like I mentioned, Facebook advertisements through your SQL database, could be Postgres, could be MySQL, could be your pipe drive, could be a Facebook advertisement if you're a marketing agency, for example, or it could be a, a MongoDB database, which is a, a, a NoSQL a database. So yeah, so these are the, some of the features, uh, some of our data infrastructure that we, we are we are always happy to support. And if you have any questions to learn uh, learn further about uh, on these uh, on these, um, you can always check our, our guides. They'll be shared by the end uh, by the end of the session today, and you, you guys you you all can learn why and how it, it can be integrated into the system. Absolutely, and if I can just add on over here. Uh, mm -hmm. to, uh, to what Jatin just shared. It's um, the fact that over there, so what you saw about the different data samples and the data import jobs that you can run. So uh -huh. a lot of it of um, the philosophy that Holistics takes is to give you a very agile and independent way of approaching data reporting. So moving data into your, uh, your reporting database or your data warehouse. So from the data sources like Jatin showed, it supports a wide range of databases from, you know, um, PostgreSQL, MySQL, your Redshifts, your BigQuery, BigQuery. So, so on and so forth. And, yeah. and over here on the data import side, this actually allows you to run those data engineering tasks to do your own ETL to move things into those database tables. And it's, it's not even a single uh, job. It's not even, say, for example, the third option here, database tables. You can actually import several tables at one go into your new uh, reporting database that you set up. And so it just makes it super convenient, super convenient to schedule these things and automate it and just say, all right, shall we run the job um, in the middle of the night at 3 a.m. or should we run it on a weekly basis? Mm -hmm. So this is a way of how we help with your uh, batch automation of uh, data reporting. Yep. yep. Thank you, Evan, for sharing. So yeah, so that's, that's the process of uh, import source, yeah. Although um, something I want to just add to that question when I'm um, asking about ETL. So ETL being like extract, transform, and load. So we actually do have another data preparation feature called data transforms, um, which we'll be going into in another webinar session. But just to give you a quick idea of what it's about, it actually allows you to schedule queries to run yeah. at a time of your choosing. So for example, you've got a query that has multiple joins that takes a long time. So with the data transform feature, you can actually then schedule this query to run and store the results as a table inside your database to materialize it there so that it becomes a lot faster for reporting. So it just becomes a select star of that table. 
rather than a really expensive and long running join. And that's one of the ways that we've actually helped some of our customers. That's one of their favorite features to actually help optimize your reporting experience. So that's how we do every step of the E and the T and the L as well. Mm -hmm. That's correct. Mm -hmm. All right. I think that's all we've got for today and we've pretty okay. much run out of time. Um, right. Yeah, so I think I just want to thank everyone for uh, joining us today. And uh, Jatin, did you have a few words you want to add before I close yes. this? Yes. Okay. So thank you all for uh, coming on board and uh, listening to our webinar. We are really, really happy for all of you guys to, to join our webinar session today. So if you have missed our webinar session, we will be sharing this, this is the same exact webinar session in our Facebook pages or in, a, in our social media pages. And you guys, you guys can listen to it again. And if you have any question, uh, we will, you can shoot it out at, uh, you know, or contact us anytime at um, hello at holistics.io. And you can always, you know, get a free trial to learn more about holistics and what exactly we do. So, and thank you all for being here once again. Keep, keep us, uh, you know, keep up to date with us. We always, you know, our data engineering team working really, really hard to, to get new features on board. So it's really important for you guys to always keep, keep uh, you know, holistics in, in, your, in your emails and always schedule it, for example, <laughs> to, to, know more, to know more about um, what, what, what we do. And so, yeah, thank you once again. Evan, you can share a few words? Yep. Yeah, not a problem. So, um, um, Jatin's session was, well, fantastic. Um, I, I <laughs> hope everyone learned a lot of yep. um, some of the new holistics features, most of the things that we've um, been working on. And so we actually have a special promotion as part of this webinar session, where wow. you'd actually, um, as for those new holistics users, you would actually get an extra uh, week of a free trial with holistics. So all you have to do is to key in that promo code web-auto when you're signing up on our getting started page, which you can see at the bottom left corner. So feel free to give it a shot. And you've seen how uh, easy it is as Jatin just showed. So now that's um, some of the really exciting things about holistics. That now you can become an independent data user that runs both data engineering and data reporting in a single mm -hmm. platform for your whole company. So definitely give it a shot and see how easy it is and try how easy it is really. So um, yeah, I guess wanted to just share a bit about some of the things that we'll be working on next for uh, coming webinar sessions. Mm -hmm. And so one of the uh, two things that we're, we've been uh, talking about recently that some of our customers have been asking about, one is embedded analytics, which actually wow. allows you to take dashboards that you've built in holistics and put it into your own applications Absolutely. or embed it inside your intranet, for example. So that's actually a really useful way for making sure that you can deliver analytics to your separate customers as well. So when a customer goes onto your platform, all they see is their own data and not anyone else's. And so that actually allows your engineers to focus on their own product. And another uh, upcoming session that we were considering holding is about the data transforms and data preparation and how you can use that to really help your data team to get the most out of um, holistics. So definitely drop us your feedback. Let us know what you'd like to see and definitely uh, stay tuned. You can uh, subscribe to our blog, um, the Holistics blog, to get some updates about next new sessions or even join our mailing list. And yeah, definitely drop on, drop into the website, ask us any questions. We're always here to help. We're always ready in any time zone now that we've got both the Asian time zones and the West time zones. The rest of the time zone, yeah. yeah, thank you everyone for being here with us uh, today. Yep. And we thank look forward to seeing you soon. Yes, see you in the next webinar. All right, so from uh, myself and from Jatin, thank you all and have a great week. Bye guys, take care.